So welcome guys to another MLB The Show 21 stream here on Twitch. I'm NextJGGen24 and today it's time to uh, check out some of the new content because there's a hell of a lot of new content we gotta go over beginning with the biggest one that everyone was expecting Team Affinity Season 4. I am not gonna lie this is really great to see this. You know, I'm gonna. Ch I'm uh, so if you guys don't know, we have a new team affinity uh, grind here, and I'm just gonna show you the NL East, but and I'll show you all the other guys. So NL East for uh, for the Braves, you have signature Eddie Matthews, you have signature. Uh, Gear, uh, Gary Sheffield for the Marlins, Milestone Tom Seaver for the Mets, MVP Jimmy Rollins, and then Signature Gary Carter, all 99s. Just looking at the stats real quick, Eddie Matthews, I mean, going to be a great, he's obviously one of the top hitting third basemen in the game right now. Lefty, and the good thing is he's a lefty, too. Uh, fielding is pretty decent. I was hoping it'd be a little bit better, but it's still pretty decent. Uh, so that's A. Matthews. Gary Sheffield, 99 overall. I mean, this guy was in last year's game, as, but he had an award. I think it was um, Silver Slugger. Maybe it was MVP. I don't know. For... But for Gary Sheffield, he had 99 last year. He's in it again this year. So, um, looking at the stats, great hitter. Fielding, that's actually, that 65 fielding kind of concerns me. Yes, he's got a great arm and great accuracy, but that fielding is, is a problem. So... And then, obviously, good, uh, decent speed. Tom Seaver now. This is, uh, if you guys don't know this by now, I'm a Mets fan. So, this is the card that I'm going after first. Um, honestly, like, his velocity is not up there. Which, I mean, he's not, I don't think he's ever been known as a speedballer. Uh, I kind of, I, I was expecting it. Drewski, I mean, he. what other 99 legend could there have been for the Mets? You can't do Mike Piazza because he's he's 99 with the Dodgers. And um, who else? You already, uh, Gary Carter is a 99 with the Nationals. Then you have, um, who are the other guys? Tom Glavin, he's a 97, I believe, so he's not really going to get that much better. So I, I, it's just, I wasn't really expecting anyone different than uh, than Tom Seaver. Simple as that. So, uh, although I will say I'm a little disappointed with his velocity. Uh, yeah, I'm... Very disappointed with his uh, with his velocity. So, um, but he's got great stamina. He's got great case per nine hits per nine. So, overall, pretty decent. This was kind of a shock to me. I I mean, they had a ninety nine overall Jimmy Rollins in last year's game. I just didn't think they would go with the MVP version. I, I, or at least not, if they were going to do an award series, why not go with Ryan Howard? I, I guess maybe they don't have the rights to him yet or something. But overall, I'm not going to complain about this card. He's easily going to be one of the fastest uh, shortstops in the game right now. Uh, not a lot of power there. Discipline is very low. So, Jimmy, don't you better – you're, you're – don't even bother check swinging because he's not going to be able to hold up. He's a switch hitter, so he's got that going for him. And he has great fielding and great speed. 
So about what I expected. And then, of course, Gary Carter. His 99 last year for the Mets really stunk. Like, it was by far one of the worst cards I've ever seen in an MLB The Show game. So I sincerely hope that this 99 overall is much, much better than it was uh, from last year. But just looking over it real quick, um, you know, great hitter. He's obviously going to be a great hitter. Uh, great catcher. Yeah, Astros could have gone with Jeff Bagwell. And he's had a 99 overall before in the game. He had one in MLB The Show 19, so it's not like they can't say, oh, we didn't, we couldn't use him, because they could have. They had him before. Gary Carter, good at fielding behind the plate, not really that fast. Uh, reaction is a little bit lower than you expect, so hopefully that won't come to bite people on the butts if they're going to steal on Carter, but I guess we'll see what happens. So that's the NL East. Uh, I'll go over the AL East real quick. So we have Adley Rushman, uh, Future Stars. This guy's a solid hitter all the way around. I mean, the power against righties could be better, but other than that, not. But it's really not that bad. It's it's actually great. A 90, 90 power against righties. That's good. Uh, fielding, he's much like Gary Carter, just going to be great behind the plate defensively, but the reaction is much higher. So if you're looking to keep people from picking or stealing bases on you, maybe this would be the better option over Gary Carter, reaction-wise. Wade Boggs, this guy's the contact hitter. Um, you know, about what I expected, high contact. Decent power, not not really anything to write home about, but decent. A decent fielder as well, and then 50 speed. So, again, he was in last year's game too, so no surprise there. Mickey Mantle, so this guy returns. Uh, I tell you what, last year I had, a, I had a lot of trouble with his 99 overall, so I hope this year I'm a lot better with his 99. Uh, great power and great discipline and clutch. Vision's a little low, or lower than I expected, but still pretty decent. I mean, this is the all-around guy that you want. This is Mickey. This is the guy that if you're looking for that five-tool athlete, or if you're looking for that guy who's going to excel at the plate and in the field, this is your guy. And on the base paths as well. Although the stealing, don't expect to steal too many bases with him unless you time it perfectly. Because as you can steal by his steal rating, it's not that high. And of course, David Price, um, 97 overall. The velocity, that's what I like to see. You want to see a, 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 a lefty pitcher with high velocity because there's not a whole lot of them out there. Uh, so, and uh, But the only disappointing with this is the... Pitch selection. He doesn't have a. He doesn't have a sinker. Sinkers are so key in this game these days that you need that sinker. And the fact that he doesn't have it, even though he has velocity um, at 99, is rather concerning. Um, overall, nothing. Nothing stands out too much. So there you go. A, uh, a lefty with velocity. And John Alrude with the with the Toronto Blue Jays. So maybe you guys remember from my streams earlier in the year, I was grinding out John Alrude for uh, with when he in the event when he was on the Met because it was a Mets card. Well, this is his ninety nine with the Toronto Blue Jays. So again, this is the guy much like his his gold card or his diamond card. Uh, this is a guy who's going to hit for hit for contact. He can smash righties, but don't expect too much from lefties. Uh, fielding wise, the arm power. I mean, that's pretty big for a first baseman, but he can only play first base. So, 
Other than that, everything else looks decent here. So that's the AL East. The AL Central. This is very pitcher heavy. This uh, AL Central is pitcher heavy. So if you're looking for pitchers, this is the this is the division for you. You've got Bob Feller. So in in MLB The Show 20, this guy had a inning boss, and let me tell you, he was hard as hell to hit with. I much imagine this card is going to be very similar to what he was in last year's game. And he's got that sinker, too, if you look right above my head here. He's got that sinker. He's got the velocity. This guy is going to be very tough to hit. 99 Frank Thomas for the Chicago White Sox. No surprise here. He has basically been in this game since MLB The Show 18. 18, though, he didn't have a 99. He only had a 95. It was, a, it was 19 where he finally got his 99, and that was in the level XP. So Frank Thomas here, argue, pretty much the best hitter in this game. I, I mean, look at that power. He's going to smash. And his vision is very high, too. His vision is a 95. So this is a card that I much imagine a lot of people are going to see in the event. Uh, trying to smash and smash and smash. Uh, Al Newhauser, he had one last year. Overall, the walks per nine is rather concerning to me. And he also doesn't have a sinker. And the reason I harp on the sinker is because the sinker is a very tough pitch to hit in the game. So if you don't have that, if you don't have a sinker in your pitching arsenal, you're already at a disadvantage. I'm sorry. Uh, the walks per nine I mentioned, that's a little low. What is that? The control controls a little. Uh, it could be worse, but it could it could definitely be better. Now, Brett Saberhagen, I'll, I'll tell you what, guys. This was one of my favorite cards, non-99 overall cards, to use in last year's game. I just, I, I don't know what it was with Brett Saberhagen, but I could really pitch with him. So this is definitely one that I'd be interested in. But overall, I won't expect, I don't expect to have high velocity because he's got, that's a 76 for him. His fastest pitch is a fastball at 95. So don't expect a heater, but be looking to get a lot of breaking pitches that are outside the zone. And finally, Walter Johnson, very similar to Bob Feller. Last year he had a 99 overall. He was an inning boss, and he was hard as hell to hit with. So, and it looks like here, he's hard as hell to hit against. Sorry, I, I, he was hard. In 20, he was hard as hell to hit against. This year should be no different. I mean, look at these pitching stats. It's, this is one of the best pitchers you're going to get in the game. So, now we'll move on to the NL Central because I just want to show you guys the the stats and everything. Greg Maddox, I'm kind of shocked that they went with Maddox for um, for this. I, I thought that maybe he'd be more of a Braves pitcher. But, okay. Greg Maddox, milestone. The velocity is not there. Again, much like uh, Saberhagen, expect a lot of pitches breaking pitches outside the zone. But he does have that sinker. So he does have that. And then Barry Larkin, 99 last year, he had one. And he just smashes against lefties. I mean, he smashes. This is another card that's all around good. Good on, good at the plate, good, at, uh, good on the base paths, and good in the field. So another one that you guys want to go after is Barry Larkin. Paul Molitar, much like Alrud, he's the contact guy. Don't expect to hit a whole lot of home runs with him. Uh, fielding could be a lot better considering he's a third baseman. 
but the speed is up there, so he does have that for him. Hannes Wagner, y'all remember Hannes from last year? He Well, last year he was an inning boss. The year before, he was a, a, a collection reward. Um, so And a very hard collection reward to get at that. I think they, they lowered his power a little bit. The discipline is kind of lacking as well. It's not bad, but it, it could be, again, it could be a lot higher. And then his fielding, great, a good speed, good. This is what you want to see. So Hannes Wagner, I, I would say this is more of a contact guy, but he can definitely smash. And then finally, Bob Gibson. I mean, this guy has basically been in MLB the show since 18. He was a 99. He was a 99 overall in 18. He was in it last uh, in 19. In it last year, and now he's back again. So, no shock here. Bob Gibson for the Cardinals. And then we'll head on over to AL West. And this is definitely more hitter, hitter uh, friendly. So if you want a hitter, you know you can come on here and and get it. Got Craig Biggio, uh, much like Al Rude, he's gonna he's a contact guy. You know, but can smash, can smash at times. Not a whole lot. Decent fielding and decent power. Jim Edmonds, he was in it last year. He was actually with the Cardinals last year, so now they're having him on the Angels. Uh, you got Mookie? Nice, man. I just got Mookie last night after I did all the monthly awards programs and everything. So I got Mookie last night. Uh, just seeing here real quick. Fielding's decent, although I'd like to see that arm... How arm strength and arm accuracy much higher because if you're going to throw runners out at home, you need a guy who's pretty much going to gut them. And it doesn't look like Jim Edmonds can do that every single time. Next up, Jason Giambi. He had an evolution program earlier this year. I think this is the first time I'm actually seeing a 99 Jason Giambi. I, I don't recall it. You have Mantle, Thomas, Vinny, Sieber, Adley, and Hannes. Okay. All right. That sounds... Uh, hey, dude, you grinded. You absolutely grinded. Um, yeah, expect Jason Giambi to be smashing against le uh, against righties. Lefties, eh, not so much. And then don't expect too much in the field, and he's got a little, a little speed. Julio Rodriguez, future stars. This one, I think I was a lot. Uh, I was really impressed with, because look at that power. It's all above a hundred, as well as contact. Vision is high, so is discipline. So you can check swing with this guy. Not to mention he's got fielding, arm strength. This is what you're looking for. This is what you're looking for in terms of an outfielder. You want that arm strength. You love Mantle, who am I getting first? Seaver. I'm a Mets guy. I'm going to get Seaver first. And then I'm going to do all the NL East before I move on to the rest of the division. I just hope they do the showdown like they did it for the last time where you could just do the do the showdowns and then and then get the voucher at some point. Yeah, I mean that mantle card's good. That that mantle card all around is good, I, at least stat wise. You'd, I'd have to see how I do with him um, when I play with him online. So overall, I'm really impressed by this card. And then of course Pudge Noodle Bat, as some streamers I know like to refer him to as. Don't expect to hold up on a lot of his swings. He's only got 72 discipline. Uh, fielding, it's very high for a catcher, but the reaction is a little low or lower than I would like. And then speed, 
obviously going to be one of the fastest uh, catchers in this in the game. And finally, the NLS, and I'll and I'll address Kershaw in a minute. I'll, I'll address him. So for the NL West, you have Luis Gonzalez. This guy had a 97 overall home run derby card. So it's no surprise that he's going to get a lot of power. Um, fielding, it's a lot better than what I was expecting, that's for sure. So fielding, uh, it's still not great, but it's decent. And then speed is not there. So expect this guy to be a bat guy. Vinny Castilla, this is a new legend. I've never seen him. Um, yeah, this is this is good. This is actually the, a guy that can play third and can bat. So I like this Vinny Castilla guy. I like it. Duke Snyder, 99, no surprise. Duke Snyder has been in this game since, I think, 19. So... Uh, not, not, I would not honestly pick him over, over Mickey Mantle. I'm sorry. His power against lefties is low and his, and his fielding could be a heck of a lot better. He's in, but for a center fielder, again, that arm strength is so key. So key. Trevor Hoffman, it's about damn time that we finally saw him. I was wondering when he was going to, when we were going to get an, a high 90 overall version of him because we had him last year too he was in the he was in the um, all-timers program so I, I wonder what took it this long for for them to get him in here um, the boss is obviously not there so this is a guy that you're gonna throw a lot of breaking pitches outside the zone with to get strikeouts not exactly the guy that you're gonna blow away with fastballs or sinkers or anything. He doesn't even have a sinker. Again, a disadvantage. And then, finally, Marco Luciano. Um, just looking at this at this kid. I, I think I think Barry Larkin is much better. Luciano, I mean, Luciano could be could be really good, and I'm just not giving him that much of a chance. But I, I, I think Larkin would be the better the better option, personally. It, not to discredit this guy. This guy is actually really good. So, But Larkin is probably the better option in terms of shortstops. So those are the team affinities. Uh, I, I'll, we'll definitely be doing the showdowns. But I do want to show you one more thing. They talked about the big collection that was coming out. And this is it. And you are absolutely right, the show bros. Clayton Kershaw, very underwhelming. I mean, yes, he's got the sinker, so at least he has that. And his velocity is not exactly something to sneeze at. I mean, it could be a lot better, but he's not really been known as a, as a guy that's going to strike out a lot with speed pitches. But here's the thing. We have had Clayton Kershaw in this game. 99 Clayton Kershaw in this game since 19. He was a level reward in 19. Last year, I forget where he was last year. I know, I think a lot of people were hoping it was Aaron or if it was Babe Ruth or um, Willie Mays. I mean, there are a lot of legends, 99 legends, that they didn't put in the game, and I don't understand why. But, yeah, I totally agree. This is rather underwhelming. As you can see, I already got some of the, some of the um, vouchers already. It's the Veteran Monthly Awards, Prospects, Tops Now vouchers, as well as Jackie Robinson and Shohei Otani. Just to show you progress real quick, only 21 out of 35, so I have my work cut out for me here. Uh, this one, not, not, it should be as bad. I should probably get the, I, I should be able to get this done at some point. 
Uh, then you have the Prime. There are quite a bit of Primes in the in these collections. Oh. Oh, I didn't lock some of them in. Okay, well, <laughs> there you go. All right, now I'm only five away. So I know Hannes and Dukes and Duke are gonna get me to are gonna get me two more. So I just need to figure out the rest. I'll figure it out. Awards, uh, twenty-one out of thirty. There's a lot of awards in the Team Affinities. Signature series, much like the awards, there's a lot of them in the Team Affinity, so probably just going to earn it that way. Future Stars, there's an event going on right now that you could get these Future Stars, and there's also, there's also the Team Affinity, because there was a couple in there as well. So, And then Rookie, I only need one more. I think I'm just going to put in a buy order. For, I, I don't know, a 5,000 buy order for Frank Thomas. I really don't care. And just get that voucher over with. Breakout, I'm missing two. Uh, I don't know who I would go for it. Snyder's a lot. Molotar's a lot. I'm hoping, I'm hoping, Monte Irvin is a lot cheaper than Molotar and Snyder. What? Even, even freaking Eddie Matthews is cheaper. I could just buy those two right there. Like three, because of the exchanges, because right now I'd rather Team Affinity 4 than Kershaw. Why, why do the exchanges though? Why not just do the showdown? Wouldn't, the sh wouldn't you do better with the show, or wouldn't you be able to do the showdown? Um... For All-Star, I'm missing five, so I don't know where I'm going to get them, honestly. I'm going to have to hope that at some point I do end up with more All-Stars. And then finally, postseason, I need five of these. My hope is that these, uh, that we're going to get, we're going to be able to count the postseason cards from this year into this collection. So that's Clint Kershaw, guys. Um... Of course, Goat, if you... Yeah, he's in there already, so... Ball is a habit bundles next. Alright, guys. Enough talking, because I... At this point, I've talked for over... Half hour. Yeah, well, but you... Well, yeah, but you get 60 points from all these... Which is already a guaranteed pack. You do. Wow, I didn't know that. Hold on. Plus, do the collections and you get them head headliners. Oh! Oh! Yeah! Okay, thank you for pointing that out to me. Oh, they're only 15 now? Oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Can't believe they're only 15. Yeah, but that's going to be a lot just for 30. I could do two. I could do two showdown runs and probably get the same amount. And that would only bring me to the stubs. All right, so let me do this. Might as well do all these. Uh, earn uh, all these collections and everything. So give me one second and then I promise, I promise we are going to go into the showdown. And start grinding, whoops. And start grinding out for these uh, cards. Okay. So we should have quite a few packs here. 
Oh, yeah, that's right, guys. I forgot to mention I finished up the six-inning boss, so... Look, I said that I was going with Pedro Martinez, so I'm going with him. Pedro Martinez, welcome to the squad. Oh, my God, so many freaking packs to open up here. All right. This is all just from collecting this stuff. <laughs> Come on, give me something good. Well, nothing out of that. I guess it really doesn't matter with these. Uh, hmm. God, those jerseys look ugly as hell. I'm definitely going for the Mets on this one. That's the only one that's going to be targeted out of all these. guys. Oh, this is the East now, so I may want the Mets. Oh, the Mets would be the first pick anyway. Why were there only three in that one? Let's get into sh uh, some showdown. Yes, perfect. It's all showdowns. That's great to see. Let's go. The real Valentino. What's up, man? How are you? Eddie Matthews. Um, yeah, definitely Jason Giambi. Frank the... Oh, uh, no, I can't go with Frank the Tank. God damn it! Uh, I was so stupid then. So, so stupid. I need to go with Josh Harrison because I need I need position players. This is not going to look good, is it? Yeah, Jason Giambi's on the bench because neither he nor Frank Thomas can play any other position. Well, shit. Alright, what's the first one? Uh, tie game, win it before recording 13 outs. Got it. Let's do it. It's showdown. 
down time. Taking the hill, a seven-time All-Star and 2018 Hall of Fame inductee with 601 career saves, Trevor Hoffman. For this showdown, they were allowed 14 outs, and they have just one run left to score. The showdown is on. But how's everyone's weekend going? Good so far? Hope it's going good. It's not going to be a long, it's not going to be a regular weekend for me. Unfortunately, I'm working, I'm working tomorrow in the city. And, <laughs> I mean, gosh. I mean, I think it's enough that it's, it's the 20th anniversary of 9-11. But this is 12 hours. My brain is going to be absolutely fried by the time I get I get home. Oh my god. This Hoffman. Oh, this is kind of concerning. I, I don't think I can hit him. Dang it! Oh man, this is gonna be a long, long showdown. Actually, what am I? What am I even doing with uh, putting Giambi on the on the bench? Who the hell cares if he doesn't play any other position? I I'm so sorry about that. I I didn't even think about that. I just I just realized that I don't even have to be doing this much. I could have had Jason Giambi in the in the lineup, but I was stupid. Finally, I get a base hit, but it's a freaking common that does that. Unreal. Oh my gosh, no! No! Oh, thank God I avoided the double play there, but still, that's... That's something I shouldn't be doing. Safe! Nice! Alright, let's bring in Jason Giambi here. Ah. Ouch! Oh god, that hurt. I I could definitely tell that this showdown is gonna be a lot tougher than what what Team Affinity 3 showdown was like. That or maybe I'm just struggling with it. Wow. One of the better hit balls in the game, and yet...
yet I can't freaking it doesn't freaking land. Yeah, he went. Freaking Josh Harrison with no power. Couldn't get that uh, couldn't get that past Fernando Tatis Jr. No. Well, the good news is we all have a runner on on third for for the winning run. But no doubt that this is a lot closer than I was hoping for. There we go. That'll do it. All right. Woohoo! Our first showdown. Or our first uh, elimination showdown in the books. Oh my god, I'm going up against Bob Feller? No! Oh no! Oh no! Yeah, give me, um. Give me Vinny Castilla. Can you play other? You can play short. Okay, yeah, I could definitely get him out. And then, uh. You know what, Giambi? Go play left. Oh, frick! Yeah, there we go. All right, what's the situation? A one-run deficit, and I got a score. Score run. Yeah, see, in the in the team affinity three, at least I had runners on base. Here, I don't have that. At a boy, Harrison. The right fielder, number ten, Hunter Renfro. The right center, Andy. Get over that wall. Ah, uh, too hopeful. Frank the tank. A home run here actually wins it for us. No, he didn't. Come on, Frank.
Wow, not even Frank Thomas? Shit. Vinny, I'm relying on you here. Show me I made the right choice. There you go. Heck yeah. It won't be a it won't be a home run, but it will drive the run home. So all we need now is just a base hit, and I'm sure I can drive in Castilla. Now, didn't get too far away from the catcher in order for me to move up. Should I send him? Yeah, I'm going to send him. He's deep. He's deep enough. Now that, the left fielder, Jason G. Hobby. Boy. There we go. All right, I'm making my entry feedback on on this or on this uh, this showdown. So that's good. Let me go with Julio Rodriguez here. Yes! Down but not out. One of my favorite, favorite perks. I'm going to leave Renfro in, in there for now. And I'm just going to move Julio Rodriguez to center. And then depending on who we're facing next, it's Maddox, so I definitely want to I definitely want to play Giambi and Matthews ahead of Castilla. No offense. All right, two-run deficit. I'm assuming no runners. Oh! All right, base is loaded. I'll take it. Okay, I like to see that. Ah, 
Well, now I have to rely on a... a see, that's what I was afraid of. I was afraid that I was going to hit into a double play with a... With, um... With the bases loaded. So now I have to rely on more base runners to... Or I have to put base runners on myself in order to win this game. And I can certainly start with Frank Thomas. But that uh, but now it depends on whether Giambi and Matthews can stay out of it or any of my hitters can stay out of a double play. Yes, I'm sending Frank Thomas the third. I'm putting him in scoring position that a fly ball, even if it's caught, could score him. Go, 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 go! Oi! I mean, at least we got the run, but Jesus Christ! Whoops. <laughs> now, whatever stops and uh, whatever stops I make here, it, it's just icing on the cake. Okay, so next up we've got Jimmy Rollins. We've got Duke Snyder, Wade Boggs, and Hannes Wagner. Well, Duke would be good for playing um, playing center against Bob Feller or hitting against Bob Feller. He would be good for that. Jimmy Rollins could help me get on – could help get on base. He'd be an improvement over Josh Harrison. No offense to Harrison. Oh, gosh. But if I'm following that philosophy, I mean, why not just go with, why not just go with Hannes? Because Hannes and, actually, Hannes is even better than, than Jimmy. So yeah, let's go Hannes. Yes, give me wake up. Give me wake up, please. That looks good. So next, Tom Seaver. And a runner at second. But I have 10 outs to work with, but I only have 10 outs. Here's the guy that I'm going for in my, in this grind, or going for first. Bray Homer, what's up? How are ya? Welcome to the stream, man. How are you tonight? Or today, depending on where you are. You're good? That's good to hear, man. That's good. You, uh, you, are you grinding out the, uh, Team Affinity as well? Do you have any of the Team Affinity cards so far? Excuse me. Because I just, I just literally started. You're doing the showdown? Where are you at in the showdown? 
Ah, frick. Frick. Started like an hour and 30 minutes ago. Wow. You're at the final boss? Who you who are you going up against? Cause my my showdown has me going up against Bob Feller. That's assuming I can get past uh Seabird here. Wow, Frank! Oh, you got Bob Feller as well? Maybe he's the final boss for all of them, but there are a lot of uh, pitchers that you can put in at the as the final boss. Walter Johnson, for sure. Hmm, 38 speed? Nah, I'm not going to test it. I mean, Al Neuhauser would be a good option. You can also go with uh, Walter Johnson. So I, I hope that it's not... You think in, in general? Uh, oh, oh, damn it. Oh, no. Oh my god, can none of my kit and none of my guys hit anymore? Vinny, please. Pretty please. God, I hated when Bob Feller was the showdown boss for the second inning last year, and I'm sure I'm going to hate it here. Again, assuming I even get there. You're going for Mantle first? All right, man, that's a, hey, that's a good option. He's great all around. Fielding, batting, speed. Dude's the total package, basically, aside from pitching. So that's a good choice. That's a good first choice to go for. I'm going with um, Tom Seaver because I'm a Mets fan. And then I'll just do every, all the NL East players after that. You have Mike Trout P4 in center? Nice. That P5, uh, when it's super factored, dude, it crushes. It absolutely crushes. It's almost like his prestige from last year. I just wish I was good enough with Trout that... You're probably going to do the American League first? Alright, man. Hey, that's not a bad option. American League's not bad. They have free, they have some quality players. I don't know. Do I do I put a lot of faith in Sam Huff here, or do I try to bunt and avoid the double play? I keep pushing my luck with every pitch that Seaver throws. I could also strike out, and that will probably help. In turn, oh well, it would be a better, it would be a better outcome than say, you know, a double play.
Yeah, that's exactly what my strategy was too. Just do Team Affinity uh, or do the showdown for Team Affinity 3. It was so easy. This, this is not easy. Like, th this is, uh, I'm struggling with this a lot more than I did with uh, Team Affinity 3 showdown. I don't even care, just go. Just go, just go, just go. Oh, I might have screwed myself there. No, I didn't. I'm safe, let's go! I'm going to the final showdown! Yeah, the, well, the collections should be easy to do for Team Affinity 4. They should be pretty easy. I, I did them too. Oh my god, I'm going to be one... Oh, shit. Okay, well, I have a very interesting dilemma here. Okay, all right, well, I'll take your word for it because <laughs> I, I really don't have any other... <laughs> any other better options, so. I'm just trying to think who would be the better option. I, I think it's got to be Luis Gonzalez. Give me a vision or eagle eye, whatever. Hey, you know what? I, th I don't think I'm going to use it. Yeah, I, you know what? I think it was a similar experience for me with that. Um, You know, it got easier as I went, as I did it more and more. All right, so this is a team that we're running with here against Bob Feller, knowing all full well that we're down a run and we need we need base runners. I didn't even check to see what the difficulty on this was. I'm kind of going in here blind. Now that right fielder, Hunter Renfro. Yeah. Yep, there's the uh, fastball that I was talking about. You know. Oh, it's on veteran? Oh, okay. Well, then that's good, but the fastball definitely makes it seem like it's on it's on all-star. Yeah, I have my work cut out for me here. <laughs> I'm going to have to hope he throws a breaking pitch at some point and smack it a long way, because... I don't have any hope of catching up to that fastball. That fastball is way too good. Okay, phew! Somehow I get a bloop single on the fastball. I'll take it. Assuming I don't hit into a double play here. Okay. All right, man. Go do those missions. I I didn't even look at the look to see what the missions were to completing the team affinity. I I I 
I just jumped right into um right into showdown. Avoid the double play here, and we got our we got our runners in scoring position. Assuming we can move them over. Yeah, me neither. I, I had to work when uh, Team Affinity 4 dropped. I, I just figured that since I was coming on stream, I'd introduce it, you know, on stream, or I'd, I'd evaluate it on stream as opposed to, uh, as opposed to just jumping right in and seeing if I can make progress. I want to show everyone my progress. You know, I want you guys to be able to see what it is that I'm doing. You have football? You play, uh, do, uh, what grade are you? Uh, or, what, yeah. Um, are you in college? Are you high school? Elementary? Middle school? Are you even in school? Maybe you're... Maybe you're an NFL player. I don't know. Come on, Vinny. Vinny, stay fair. Stay fair. Ah, so close. Dang. Gave us the no doubt animation, but it wasn't even a home run. That's the sad part. Alright, Bray. No problem. Got us the run. Now we just need one more. Ah, uh, they're going to intentionally walk him to get to the pitcher. Boo. Boo. Wussies. Well, that's okay because if I... If I ground into a double play here and they don't go to... They don't go home, then I win the game. Or I win the showdown. Atta boy, Mitch! Let's go! First showdown of Team, of, of team Affinity 4 is done. Let's go! Give me those vouchers. You guys know I'm going with, I'm trying to grind towards, uh, Tom Seaver, so. That'll get me to 25, which will get me a ball in his habit pack, uniform packs, and, and that's it. Uh, nothing good. Only Nick Cassianos. Alright. Uh, yeah, Braves, fine. Marwin's fine. 
Billy's fine. And only one is the Nationals slash Expos. Okay, so we got all those team, uh, those jerseys. I'm actually, I'm kind of curious. Have they not done? Yeah, they haven't. Too bad. Yep, let's do it. All right. Give me Barry Larkin, yes. Give me... Uh, I think Sheffield's the move here. Yeah, Sheffield. Give me Sheffield. Give me... I need a lefty. Now, you know what? Give me Mickey. <laughs> Uh, give me Brandon Belt. And give me Gerchik. Gerchik. Yep, that's exactly what I was looking for. All right, very cool. So it looks like, yeah, okay, you were right, Bray. Yeah, the the showdown's always, the final showdown is always going to be against Bob Feller. I just wonder if all, if all the showdowns are going to be the same. Get there, Larkin. Get there. He's safe. He was safe. He was safe. Atta boy, Gerchuk. All right, Mickey, what do you got for me? You know what's strange is that I haven't even hit a single home run in this in showdown. I mean, I'm not going to complain if it means that I win. I'm not going to complain at all. I'm just saying, like, this is very odd to not have a single home run through 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 five uh, through five or even six showdowns yes give me give me Frank Thomas yes uh, it doesn't really matter. I'm not putting that in. Can Brendan Belt? <laughs> All right. Well, I'm gonna move him over to second or catcher. Catcher. Sorry. It doesn't matter anyway because I don't.
I'll tell you what. This is what we'll do. Yeah. There we go. All right, Bray. Hey, by the way, I appreciate you following me. Thanks a lot. Okay, it looks like it's going to be the same showdown bosses for each, um... for each showdown that I do, which is good because at least it's consistent and I know what to expect. I know to expect Hal Newhauser here. I know to expect Bob Feller in the final one, Tom Seaver in the second to last one. So at least it's consistent. So Bray, who are you? Who are you? What team are you a fan of? Padres. Ah, okay. Okay, I can respect that. Mike Piazza, I'm a Mets fan, but I'm a Mike Piazza fan. So when he went to San Diego, I was rooting for him in San Diego. That was a good San Diego team back then. But there was no way, I don't think they were going to beat the Mets. That 06 Mets team was just too good. I don't even think, uh, didn't, weren't they the wild card? Because the Dodgers, the Dodgers were in it. It was the Padres and Dodgers in 06. I know the, the Dodgers lost to the Mets. Ugh. Can't remember. It's Sandy. Well, see, I, I have this feeling that the, the, the Mets weren't. The, I feel like the Mets were the best team in the, or had the best record in the National League. But maybe the Cardinals did. I, I don't know. That Cardinals team, team was good as well. That's why they went on to win the World Series. But I know San Diego made it in 06. But obviously, talking about now, you guys have to be excited about Fernando Tatis Jr. And although, honestly, I thought you guys would be a lot more competitive. I mean, I think you guys are still in the wild card anyway, so you'd be in the wild card game. But I was expecting you guys to either be Right, uh, or expect I was expecting the Padres to be either leading the division or right on the heels of the Dodgers and they're not they're, well they're on the heel of the Dodgers but they're not not in terms of the league yeah that he did
I, I really didn't see the game though. I, I didn't I didn't see uh, Bryant in Wrigley Field. So, I mean, if you want to tell me how he did in that game, because I would think uh, I. What do you mean the game hates you? What do you mean, Bray? Come on, Fox. Ooh. Decent hit. Against Feller? I mean, look, Feller's tough. That that fastball is 102 every time, so you can't expect to get a hit off of that. I'm I'm sorry. I mean, you could get a hit, but you're gonna, it's gonna be a lucky hit at best. Oh, oh, you're, oh, you're, t yeah, that's right. You said you were, you said you were gonna do the total bases with, uh, what was it, the AL Central? Or no, it was the uh, AL East, so. Hey, man, just try to be patient. Are you, are you playing at Coors Field? Like, are you playing at Coors Field? You would be a lot more... You, you'd have a better chance of getting a base hit if you were playing at Coors Field. You are. Okay. Damn, man, that stinks. Get over the wall, not even close. Well, great, I got the tying run, but now I need the winning run, and I only have seven outs to do it. Frank Thomas, please. I know you just scored a run, but can you hit a home run? Four left. There you go. Sheffield? Nice, man. There you go. See, I told you Coors Field would, would eventually reward you. Go to second. Go to second, Sheffield. Go, go, go. Nice. I think that's, uh, that's probably a strike because of where it's located. Which is bullshit, but whatever. <sighs> Strikeouts are the worst thing I can have right now. Actually, Gertruck is the one that 
came through for me the last time. So if he could do it here, that'd be great. Let's go, Gurchuk! Coming up clutch! You're at 45 points. Holy shit, man. You're grinding. What, what's the total? What is the total? Like, a hundred or is a hundred and fifty? Fifty, holy shit! Gonna be grinding this shit for a while. All right, let's go with Luis Gonzalez. Yes, give me rally time. Yes, please. Yeah. Yeah, I figured as much. So it's going to take 10 of these showdowns just to do... It would take 10 showdowns in order to do all of this. Right now I've only completed one. I know, man. This game can be frustrating as hell. It's showdown time. Towing the rubber. Believe me, man. I've been on the receiving end of a lot of terrible calls and everything, so... Come on, Mickey. Yep. I'll do you one better. I hit a perfect, perfect foul ball. Tell me how that makes sense. I squared it up and you're telling me it was a perfect, perfect foul ball. That doesn't make any sense. Get out. Nope, it's going to bounce up against the wall. Let's go! Read it! And that's gone! So Luis Gonzalez with the walk-off home run. Ah, so then you know my pain. But I get your pain, too. Totally get it. Uh, get me down, but not out.
All right, let's do it. We got Tom Siva. This is the pitcher that I struggled most against. At least in the last showdown, I struggled. Listen, man, it's all about being patient. So, you know, do whatever you got to do to be patient. If that's, you know, take a deep breath, take a deep breath, pause the game, go take a bathroom break, come back, and I'm sure you're going to you're going to be able to get that hit. Shit, man. Sometimes this game is not fair. It's just not fair. The physics of it really sh is really shitty. Hold on. My sister just sent me a text message. Hold on. Okay, I'll take that base hit. But I won't steal with him. I will not steal with Mickey Mantle. He just doesn't have to steal capabilities. Let's go, Frank Thomas! And that's game. Bob Feller, here we come. Uh, I'm sorry, man. No, don't worry about it, Hooday. Hey, I owe you a game. I owe you a game. So, um... So, just give me a minute. Let me finish up this showdown. Then we'll play. But you gotta tell me what you're... Okay, I can send you a friend request on Xbox. You can play me. All right, we're going to go with Duke Snyder here. Yes, give me clear t clear for takeoff, please. Holy crap. I've not seen that perk in a long-ass time. All right, who are we getting rid of here? Yeah, so tell me what your gamer tag is.
All right, man. Just give me a minute, and I'll, uh... I, let me do this showdown, and then we'll play. Yeah, you can add me. Uh, but you're probably going to need to see my gamer tag. Hold on. Because now I just entered this game, so... Hang on. I'll type it in here. Dude, don't. Come on. It's just a game, man. Alright, that's my gamer tag, Uday. So... All right, man. Maybe, maybe I'll take a break. Just go play another game. Play Madden, play NHL, FIFA, whatever, NBA 2K. Just take a break, man. I know that's what I do when I get frustrated by MLB The Show, is I just take a break. Dang it. I can't catch up to this fastball. It's unfair. This would be a good time to have freaking uh, <laughs> wake up. Just hold on, because I've been able to play Xbox players before. You can't, you can't do it. The, uh, going through the Xbox and adding me that way. No, 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 You have to go through it through MLB The Show 21. Just, just let me finish this showdown and we'll play. Well, that's the first time I've made contact with the ball. Unfortunately, it was caught. No, no, you're you're fine. You're fine, Huday. Thank you. Thank you, Eddie Matthews. Holy shit. Mm -hmm. 
Duke Snyder walks it off. Let's go. Oh, whoops. Meant to go here. I don't think this would be enough for... Got Team Affinity Packs, Unlockables, and 1500 stuff. So yeah, not enough to get me to the first... Uh, Ooh, got a gold Gene Segura. Got a diamond. Alternative jerseys. Quick sell. Because they're useless. Or, or that that particular jersey doesn't sell for a whole lot, so. Let's go, uh, Hude. Let me let me see if I can add you. Let me see here. All right. Let's see. Gotta go back up through the chat for a quick minute and see. Tars heels. Yeah, you're right here. I got you. All right. Let me know. Uh, let me know when you get it, Huday. I'm not going to start up a, a game while I'm waiting on who day, so, or a showdown while I'm waiting on who day here. Maybe I'll just buy some headliner packs. I've got, I've got a lot of stuff to burn here. So we could get Nate Pearson or the Brewers alternative jersey. God damn it. Come on, give me Nate Pearson. Okay, so... I don't know what the... I don't know how you... do it on Xbox. Okay, but... to get to the screen where I was just was on the PlayStation, I would hit the middle... or I would hit the middle thing... Just tap this middle, and then you're going to go over to my profile, go to friends, and requests. That's how you would add me. Let me know if you're able to do that. While well, I go back and try to get some... There you go. You got... I, I see you accepted it. I see that you accepted it, so... Okay. Well... A headliner pack here. Come on, give me Nate Pearson. Oh, 
Oh my god, I think this is Nate Pearson! I think this is him! It's Nate Pearson! Woohoo! Talk about coming up clutch! Oh, I could sell him for 90k? Damn! Well, I could probably sell him for way more than that. Hell yeah! That's what I'm talking about! You know what? I'll hold on to him for now because I know there are three future starts you can get in the event. Not to mention two in the... Um, two here in... in or actually three. You could get three here and three in the event. So... So I'll just hold on to Pearson for now. I'll hold on to him. Yeah, I know, Stankberry. I know. Yep. Okay, so what you're going to do, Hude, is you're going to go into online mode. You're going to go get, you're going to go play versus friends. And then you're going to scroll down to my, to my thing. All right. Oh, shit. You got to be kidding me. Okay, good. So just just send me the uh There you go, man. J uh, one step at a time. Man, I'm sorry to keep leaning forward. Really got an itch on my ankle. That's like the worst place to get an itch. Yes. So go to online modes, go to play against friends, play versus friends, and then just scroll down to my name. Sorry if my shirt looks a little wrinkled. I've been wearing it all day, so.
Uday, would it be easier if I just sent if I just sent it? Yeah, I think that would be easier. So let me let me send it to you, uh Uday. It's fine. It's absolutely fine. Did you did you get my challenge? Uh who day? Okay, hold on. All right. Hude, I want you to pay attention to the screen, to your screen, when I send this to you, okay? Okay. When I send this to you, you should get a notification that immediately pops up on the screen. Do you see that? Damn that mosquito. Uday, how do you normally... Because you might want to check there for my game invite. Okay, so you do it to me then. Okay, but here's how you're going to set up the game. Six innings, all-star, guest pitches off. So, okay, so I'll walk you through this. Go, go You're going to go to online modes here. You see online modes?
Okay. So online, you're gonna go to online modes. Then you're gonna uh, redeem it, stink Barry. You gotta redeem it. Then you're gonna go over to this tab right here. Play versus friends. Okay, once you get to this screen here, you're gonna scroll down to my name. My name should be TTV Next JG Gen 24. If you need if you need a little help finding what my name is, it's in the top right corner. That's my gamer tag. So let me know when you do that. I just got something. Okay. Can you do it again? Yeah, no problem except now I'm now we're not in the game, so you have to do this again. You have to send me the challenge again. Okay.
And by the way, uh, I'm just letting you know that uh, right now, six innings is all I'm doing. I, I need to keep it fair for everyone. So six innings, that's all, that's all I can do. Okay. What's up, Brandon? How are ya? Long time no see, man. I'm doing all right, man. I'm just, I'm just playing a viewer right now, uh, one of two, and um, and uh, and I was just grinding out the team affinity. I've been mostly invested in the NL East to get um, Tom Seaver. So, but I haven't gotten to Seaver yet. But how did, uh, I already asked how you were doing. But what's been new with you lately, man? At a boy, Judge. You're playing Madden? Oh, you just reminded me. I need to do my, uh, I need to do my daily missions for tonight. I gotta, I gotta really do it because, uh, 
I got a lot to catch up on. Got the solo battles to do. Yep. To the moon. Strike three, sit down. Damn it. All right, good good swing with Justin Turner there. That is it. No less deal. Kyle. Or we can play or we can team up and do the uh, and play against other players. We could do that too. <laughs> but yeah, we can play. Yeah, I know, Stinkberry. Don't worry. I'm fully aware of that. Yeah, I, I just... I, I really don't play Madden as often, like maybe once a day. Most of my time I'm... I'm, I'm uh, focusing on MLB The Show. Just foul, man. Uh oh. All right, that baby's gone. So raise that apple for Pete Alonzo. Not at all. You just got some unfortunate breaks.
Bobby Dobby. The Ghetto. Number seven. Oh, uh, can I? Ah, oh, man, I can't make it. God damn it. Why didn't I just throw it over? Your attention, please. Didn't hit it. Crap. Nelson Cruz. Oh, man, he missed it. Wow, Evan Longori, come on, you gotta be a better third baseman than that. Oh shit. Uh, uh, I might not get there. I don't get there. No, get in, get in. Oh, you guys. Come on, I think I can reach him. I think I can, I think I can. I got him. Oh, I didn't even see you. Freaking going around to the to second baseman or to third baseman, darn it. Oh wait! Judge, what are you doing? Oh Judge! You being a idiot or something? Come on, get get him, get him! Man, this game just does not like me today. What the heck? Corbin Burns, are you okay? Now we can't even locate the friggin' pitch. Like superstar, okay. What super? What? What superstar? Dude, you have Nelson Cruz. Oh, for meds. Uh, I've never really bothered with with that before. Um, but I guess I should try it. Man, thought I was gonna have an inside the park home run on a bunt. Damn it. My God, I think I need to pull. Uh, I need to pull Corbin Burns. He's just he is something's wrong with him. gets warmed up soon because otherwise
Otherwise, you're done. See who day? I told you you were good. I don't know, man. I haven't been able to score since the second inning. The batter, number ten, second baseman. Yeah, Burns has got to go. I completely agree. says you suck. I think that says that you're having a hell of a game. I shouldn't have left Corbin Burns in for that long. But don't you worry. I'm not letting him go the next inning. Jeez, now my hitters can't hit? Oh my gosh. <sighs> Pete, you slow piece of crap. Exactly. If friggin' Nelson Cruz is out here pitching like he's won a Cy Young before, and Corbin Burns just completely sh shit the bed. I don't know what to do, man. Hopefully Julian Mer uh, Merriweather can uh, fix this. Merryweather. Don't worry about it. Let's get the double play here and let's let's get closer to ending this inning and being done. Now let's get the double play. Come on. Double play here. Yeah, that's what I try to do is the solo battles, but the highest that I play on right now is um, Pro Arcade.
Because I, I, I still, I want to get my stats, man. I want to get those stats. And I can't get it on competitive. Alright, last chance here. Come on, we can't let Nelson Cruz beat, uh, sh shut us out. Uh, right now they are, they are, uh, they, uh, it's an 80 over, uh, 81 overall. Alright, attaboy JT Real Muto, we can get back into this. Let's go. In fact, I'm so confident, I think I could get a butt, uh, an inside the park home run with Aaron Judge here. God damn it! Alright, maybe not Judge, but maybe it's Longoria. I think it's Longoria that could do it. Oh man! He was safe, um! He was so safe! What the heck is wrong with you, um? Come on, David. I know you can beat this out. Gow! Dang it! Alright, GG's, man. That was a hell of a game. I made the stupid error by, uh, by leaving Corbin Burns in there. God dang it! What's wrong with me? Uh-oh. Oh, shit. I don't know. Alright, uh, Brandon, do you wanna, do you wanna play me, or, uh, or, uh, well, of course you wanna play me, you redeemed it, but, do you want, uh, do you wanna be the home team, or do you want me? Yeah, no problem, Hude, you, you're a fine player. You're a fine player. Oh, Stinkberry. I'm sorry. Okay. Sounds good, man. Uh, I'll tell you what. Let me go to the bathroom. I gotta go to the bathroom. Ugh. Alright, let me see if I got a challenge for you, from you. Uh, hey, you, you play better than me, man. You play better than me. Stinkberry, whenever you're ready.
There you are. Yeah, I got it. I got it. Yeah, I'll keep you at it. But if it, it like, I'm not gonna play someone, you know, off stream or anything. I, you know, I want to be able to. Uh, apparently, you don't, man, because you beat me. So either that means I sucked or you're hell of a player. Oh shit, Bob Feller, god damn it. Yep, totally screwed. Alright man, best of luck. I don't think you'll need it. Bob Feller is a hell of a pitcher. Uh, I'm screwed. Yes, I did this show, bros. Yes, I did. Brandon Stinkberry, or, or are you talking about me? Because I'm actually contemplating replacing Jacob DeGrom with, uh... Uday, you gotta redeem it. That's the only... That, uh, that's the only way I play people is if they redeem it on stream. Otherwise, I don't I don't play people outside of the stream or anything. Yeah, we're... Uh, I mean, Stinkberry is very good. Rocking with Bob Feller and everything. Dude, DeGrom just doesn't do well for me. I'm sorry, I've tried, but his all-star card is now easy to hit, and his live series card I've struggled with in the past. Holy shit, that fastball went so hard, it freaking bounced off the catcher's glove and onto the field. That's how powerful this, this, his freaking fastball is. Okay, but, uh, alright, so next Friday, fine. I've struggled with him, so he just stinks for me. Oh, god damn it. And I'm not having a great I'm not having great time against viewers tonight. Shit, I'm screwed. Well, I kinda knew that I was screwed. No, that's that's fine. I I don't care when we play our game. If that's when you want to do it, that's fine. Uh, probably Monday. Because I'm working 12 hours tomorrow, and Sunday I really need a break.
batting for the third baseman, Chipper Jones. What time am I playing? What? Wait, hold on. I'm sorry. I'm having a hard time understanding that who day. The show bros, yeah. You can redeem it any time. And just tell me what day you want me to play you if you don't want to do it tonight. I mean, I really don't want to do it tonight. Because I, I really got to work tomorrow. And I got to... I still got to take a shower. I got to go... And then I gotta get ready for tomorrow. So uh, if anything, if we can do it on Monday, I really, I really appreciate that. What time are you playing? Now, uh, now are they better than my team? Um. Your team was full of live series diamonds, which isn't bad, but the guy that I'm going up against right now, I mean, he's got a lot of legends. Why couldn't they do this against the Marlins? Why did we lose two out of three games to the Marlins? When we are in a critical time to go after the division and we lost to the freaking Marlins it doesn't make sense to show bros it doesn't and I am pissed as hell if they're playing well right now because it's from what you're telling me it sounds like they're playing great well why the hell couldn't they do this against the Marlins when they needed to No, you didn't upset me. You beat me. I'm a I'm a guy that got beat. Well, it's not so much uh, Here's the thing, the show bros, the Marlins are bad. They should be beating the Marlins. We should not have lost any games to the Nationals or to the Marlins. Or the Mets shouldn't have lost to the Marlins or the Nationals at all. We don't need a miracle. We need Jesus fucking Christ. To help us. There's, there's no way we're winning the division. We gave up our first round pick from 2020 for Javier Baez. And we're not even competing. No, Houday. You beat me. You beat me. That's it. The only reason why I'm upset now is because I'm talking about the Mets losing to the Marlins, which they shouldn't be doing. I I, I don't care if you beat me or uh, or not. I don't care. It's a friendly. This is what I do for you guys. Give you a chance to go ahead and uh, go up against me. And either you you pummel me or I pummel you. I don't know. And tonight, you beat me. You came back on me. I made the stupid mistake of leaving Corbin Burns out there for longer than I should have. And that's it. Yes, absolutely. Well, well maybe, uh, I don't know. San Diego might seem like a good candidate. Especially if they don't go far in the playoffs. Good. 
All right, the show, bro. So I'll see you on Monday. Yeah, absolutely, Hooday. Absolutely. San Diego's up there. Uh, I think the Yankees have to be up there if if uh, they don't make the playoffs. Maybe the Blue Jays as well. If the spring, it, 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 because they went out and they got Springer. At a boy, Longoria. Heck yeah. Yeah, maybe. I, I I think I think they knew at a certain point in the season that that they were um, they weren't competing. I think they figured that out. So no, not at all. Man, you beat me. Plain and simple. I, I I like it when people play me hard because it means that we're, if I'm able to compete with them, then they're uh, then they're good player. And if they're good players, then that means I could be a good player. Uh, well, thank you. I appreciate that. You played a good game too. Again, I just made the stupid mistake of leaving Corbin Burns out there for too long. So next time I won't do that. I'll just take him out after the third inning or something like that. Just like I should probably consider not not putting Shohei Otani longer than a couple innings here. Exactly. Exactly. Just learn from the mistakes. The mistake was leaving, uh, having too much confidence in Corbin Burns, so his ass is gonna get is gonna get taken out after the third inning, unless he wants to give me a reason to beat him uh, to pull him out earlier. There you go. Well, I'm glad you enjoyed it, man. Congrats. Uh, or, well done. Well, that's how I like to distinguish myself from other streamers. Just give other people an opportunity to, co uh, to come on in and play me. I'm definitely learning from my mistake this time. Oh my gosh. Good thing I caught myself, otherwise I would have been gunned. The 
you should be fine. I stream. I usually stream for three hours, so you know you, that should be that should be no problem. Plus, I stream five times a week, so even if you're just here for a for two hours. I, I, I'm sure you'll get back up there. I, I'm sure you will, Hooday. Ah, uh, no, I am so gunned. Shouldn't have done that. I am a freaking idiot. Nope, nope. I'm learning from my mistake this time. Come on in, Jerry's familiar. What about the my team logo or yours? Oh wait, I don't think you have a logo. But what about my team logo? Oh, well, eh. it's not exactly what I want though. It's just kind of generic. You know what I what I really what I really wanted it to look like. Hold on, if I can, uh, I'll pull it up. Strike three, sit down. Now batting, third baseman, Jeffrey. Go. I wanted, I wanted my logo to look like this. This is what I wanted my logo to look like. But because I don't know how to get that image into, uh, into the game, I uh, I can't put it in there, so oh well. At a boy, Jerry's. Yeah, you did. I mean, look, dude, it's your uniform. That that's your choice. If that's what you want. Go ahead and go for it, man. Now I'm going to learn from the mistakes of the... Uh, New York Mets, and I'm gonna make sure Jerry's familiar doesn't go another inning. Yeah, I thought they were very neat. Come on, Longoria, home run here. Home run. That's up to you. If you want to keep them that way, keep them. If you want to change them, you know, Change them to however you like. I think they're fine. I don't think you need to do anything to them. But if you don't like them, that's, that's your choice. Alright. Sounds good. Thank you. 
Rob Nen. No control with this guy, but... Whatever. Uh, I had a couple cheeseburgers. Homemade cheeseburgers. They, uh, my dad made them. Because he wanted to finish off the hamburger meat that was in the fridge, so it was like, I'll cook up some hamburgers, so we cooked up hamburgers. Ah, shit! Yeah, that's it. I don't really eat a whole lot. I know I'm a big guy in terms of weight and everything, but I really don't eat that much. I just don't exercise. But that's going to change soon. I'm actually going to go... Once my sister gets back from her vacation, I'm going to... I'm going to um, go back to the gym. You're only 5... 5.5? You mean... I, do you mean five foot five? Like your height is five foot five? Shit, get there. Get there, Mullins. Please get there. Uh, I'm not that much taller than you. I'm only, I'm only five foot eight. Oh, jeez. Mariano Rivera. Shit. Ah, the classic battle between David Ortiz and Mariano Rivera. Hopefully David Ortiz comes out on top. Yeah, he didn't come out on top and look in fact he looked like a fool. But then again, I'm the one that's controlling him, so I'm the fool. Come on, Turner, beat it, beat it, beat it. Dang it! I never get these close calls. God dang it. Gigi's, uh, Gigi's, um, Stink Barry did well. That Bob Feller, man. <laughs> um, hold on, hold on to that because I might have a, I might have a good answer for that after, after the after this Sunday, because that's when they're going to play their first game. Yeah, I lost this one, too. It was just not a good night for me in terms of uh, viewer games, so. Yeah, exactly. Because he had freaking Bob Feller on his team, and he just struck me out. There was no, there was no catching up to 
102 mile per hour fastball. So, all right, guys, so that's going to do it for me. Thank you to everyone who tuned in, even if it was only for a moment. I greatly appreciate it. If you haven't done so already, please be sure to follow me here on Twitch and or subscribe. Either one would make me a very happy person. If you're watching this on YouTube, thank you so much for tuning in. I hope that you'll continue, you'll subscribe to my channel and continue to watch more of my content. Um, and, and the way that you can do that, by keeping up to date with when I post my videos, just turn on those notifications. YouTube will send you an email every time I post one. And if you want to know when I go live here on Twitch, just hit the, uh, you can follow me on Twitter at JeffreyWarner3. The link is in the about page that's underneath the stream here. So go give me a follow. I'll always tweet whenever I go live. You can also turn on notifications here on Twitch. That way Twitch sends you an email every time I start up the stream. Overall, this was great. We made some progress towards Team Affinity. Not as much as I would have liked, but it is what it is. Um, unfortunately, we didn't do too well in viewer games. But like I said, it is what it is. So I will see you all on Monday. Okay? So have a great rest of the week. And, um, and I just want to give a little tribute out there to... Uh, to the victims, the families, the first responders of 9-11, because tomorrow is the 20th anniversary. Um, you know, my my heart, my heartfelt prayers go out to them each and every day. I can't imagine what what they go through dealing for the dealing with this not only every year but for 20 years, guys. It's un unbelievable. So I I commend their their strength to be able to, you know, see through this day and continue to live life because I, I can't imagine losing a loved one, especially in that way. So let's all keep them in mind. Let's all pray for our troops, you know, especially for the families of the 13 soldiers who were, who died in that bombing attack. So keep your prayers out to them and, um, you know, never forget, never forget what happened on that day. 3,000 over, over and nearly 4,000 people lost their lives that day. We can't forget them. So never forget. And let's continue to make sure that something like that can never happen. Not just in this country, in the U S but around the world. Because no one should have to lose their lives that way. It's despicable. And to any son of a bitch terrorist out there that wants to, that is planning on coming, uh, coming and attacking us, let me tell you something. The U.S. will hunt you down. We will hunt you down and we will make sure that you pay for your crimes. So you better think twice before you mess with the U.S. Because I got news for you. We will rain hell down on you. So you better be ready. You better be ready, you terrorist son of a bitch. With that, guys, have a good night.